So we have been understanding what is real self, what is not real self, and what we witness. All the three factors are extremely important in order to discover and uh, live and act in the real self. So we have already made it clear, real self is ECV, existence, consciousness, bliss. And the journey is listening, learning, contemplation, reflection, and practice. That's what we are doing. <clears throat> You see this contemplation and reflection that give rise to discernment and dispassion, which is always with us, with reference to the world. How come? When you drive home, you reach to your home. You don't reach to your neighbor's home. So that is very clear. Huh? You always remember, if you are married, you remember, you never forget it. You have kids, you never forget it. Isn't it? We never forget. So what we are, uh, so this, you know, this kind of a discernment at a, at a level, secondary level. So you see that, you know, this is my home, this is uh, he or she is my honey, and she is my son and daughter, all these. You know, I have this bank account, I have a bank account here. You don't land up in another bank. So in order to clarify and purify the mind, <clears throat> we have another concept of truth, untruth, and false. So we filter out what we claim we are. The fact is that I am, uh, uh, first I am a man, then I am a husband, then I am a father, you know, then I am a teacher. Without being a man, teacher, husband, son, daughter, doesn't make any sense. So it appears, this person appears as a teacher, son, father. So that is the false. So that is why this concept has been introduced to be very clear so that this mind should not enter into any kind of delusion. Any kind of delusion. So never forget. First thing to never forget what? What we are, what we are not, and what we witness is not me. I witness myself as a teacher, but it is not real me. It is not real me. Are you clear? So because we forget this, and then what we are not in the very First, uh, first statement, the master says, we are none of these three bodies. So what are the three bodies? The physical bodies, and the subtle body, and the causal body. So we have already understood that how come we are not the physical body? How do we understand that? Anything that is changing and that is an effect, I cannot be that. So this body is an effect of the matter. What is the cause? Cause is matter. Cause of the matter is earth, cause of the earth is, huh? cause of the earth is water, cause of the water is fire, cause of the fire is air, and ultimately to the space. And what is the cause of the space? It is the mind. And what is the cause of the mind? It is ego. That subtle, oh, you know, that subtle eye says, yes, yes, I know, this is my body. So if you look back, that is where I am not the body. So, and another reason that, am I conscious or am I inert? I'm conscious. So if I'm conscious, I cannot be matter. 
So matter is inert, matter does not know itself, I know myself, I am consciousness. And the matter is, cannot know others. So, I am not at all matter. So we will also discuss in detail, this is the material cause of the physical. What is the efficient cause? The efficient cause is the storehouse of impressions that we have gathered. So keep in your mind. We will talk about this when we will discuss about the causal body. So now comes what is the subtle body. We, we covered a little bit of subtle body last time. So understand first that uh, we talk about the five elements, physical elements. So there are subtler aspects of these five elements creates the subtle body. That needs to be properly understood. Earth, water, fair, and I, I think, uh, do you still remember the liquid element or the water element is the blood in giants? Huh? The solid element is the earth. I heard from one scientist that if you remove the space from the six feet body, it will not be bigger than a matchbox. So much of space is there. So now we are going to the subtle. So now these subtle element, now understand the subtle. Uh, you don't see the iron ore, but your smartphone is made up of the steel, your car is made up of the steel, subtler, subtler aspects, refined aspects. See that? Similarly, water. What are the subtle aspects of the water? Soda. How many you take soda, beer, wine, vodka, juice? blood in giants subtle that is how we understand the fire element digestive fire huh? food that is digested by the fire means acid similarly the air the breath oxygen nitrogen oxygen these are the subtle aspects and the space so subtle body is made up of five elements so out of the five elements, you have the five sense organs, you have the five motor organs, you have the five functions of the energy, the prana, and then you have the mind and the intellect. So the master says, okay, mind and memory. If you have the mind, then you should have a memory. If you have an intellect, you should have the eyeness. So sometimes people say they consist of 19 elements and sometimes we say it consists of 5, 5, 5, 2. Five sense organ coming from the five subtle elements. Five motor organs again coming from the five elements. And the five functions of the energy. They also come. Plus the mind and intellect. Another understanding is that by sense organ, we do not mean the physical organs which belongs to the physical body. We are referring to the subtle powers of perception. The subtle body, what is subtle body? Subtle body is the instrument of perception. Are you getting it? You know, sometimes I have given an example that sometimes what happens? Sometime, sometime, sometime we see, oh, this guy whose eyes looks fine, but he is a blind. So physically, that is the part of the physical body. Behind the physical eye, eh, there is a power of perception. That power of perception belongs to the subtle body. I think I'm making myself clear. Eyes may be open, but the visual data received from the eyes will have no meaning if the mind is not there behind. 
How can I recognize Brandy, David, Jerry? I cannot recognize. So mind and the memory, so they are part of the subtle body. Now see the beauty of uh, deeper understanding. And if you witness that, you will see the real self here and now. What it takes to know you. This is all crazy stuff done by the subtle body. What it takes to know you. For example, the brandy is the name. Good. So first is an object. And that is what we say the known. I know. The mind divides inside. The intellect divides inside the subtle body. That I am the knower. Brandy is the known and there is a process of knowing. Did you get it? We are talking of subtle body, so I have to talk of subtle stuff. <laughs> it's not physical. So in a simple way, understand that there is a trinity. There are always three factors in knowing anything in the world by the mind. It is here and now. You are seeing me, so I am an object. First factor. When I say you are seeing me, you is the second factor, the knower. And what is going on in between you and this body? The process of knowing. And are you getting it? Look at the subtle aspect. Three aspects are always there in any knowledge. Any information. And that is why the master explains we have five sense organs, we have five motor organs, we have five energy functions and then we have mind and the intellect. There are 17, 17 items that consist of the subtle body. Are you listening to me? You responded to me. Yes. Comes from the motor organ. But before that, there is a sense organ. And the sense organ is connected to the mind. Your mind said, yes, I heard you. Are you getting it? Are you getting it? Even if you don't get it, you will get it. No worries. <laughs> that is why I say it is a, it is a slow process. Subtle body. Understand why we simply talk of the subtle body, but now we say it is a subtle body and I am not the subtle body. Take another example. Uh, we talk of the five pranas. What is this five prana? Prana is one, but they are given a different name because of the different functions. Prana, respiratory system, apana. Apana is a force that removes the waste material. Another name of the prana, depending on their function, Vyana, responsible for circulation, circulating the oxygen and nutrition throughout the body. Another prana is known as Samana, responsible for converting food into nutrition. And the Udana permeates. It operates like a, I would say, a reversing system at the time of the death. Oh, why you are talking of the death? I'm scared. Really? Body dies. You don't, you never die. Let the mind instantly remember this. <laughs> don't be so serious. So it operates, the Udana energy operates uh, the reversing system at the time of the death. When all processes of the body are reversed because it is the time for the body to die. What is the reversing process? It is a, huh? it is a fragmented now. Everything starts fragmenting into the five elements. And then the mind and the intellect. So do you just remember the subtle body. <coughs> 
So from today, you just maintain your awareness. The moment you know someone, something, you have the knowledge, you have an awareness, you get some information. It is only done by the subtle body. Why I said so? Honey, you don't love me. It comes from the subtle body. I don't like you. It comes from the subtle body. I hate you. It comes from the subtle body. Oh, there is a too much of competition and jealousy. It is from the subtle body, not from you. So when I see that I'm not the subtle body, hatred, jealousy, likes, dislikes, I'm none of them. When I'm none of them, then what happens? The mind is not wandering. Again, understand that is important. The five organs of knowledge means the sense organ receive sense data yeah, from the world outside. Yeah, isn't it? I receive an information about because of the shape and the name that you are Brandy, you are David, from my eyes. The mind integrates the sense data and passes it to the intellect for analysis and decision making. The mind also stores the sense data and the memory. The intellect analyzes the sense data and then it also retrieves the past experiences that your name is Brandy, that's why you are Brandy. And that helps me to make a decision that you are Brandy, you are Stephen, you are Sam. The season arrived at is passed to the mind and then the mind says, how are you? Good morning. The mind passes the decision and instructs appropriate organs of action to respond to the external world. It's, it's, it's such a beautiful way to present. Now we are a seeker, so we are going, that's why we are going deeper. <coughs> So the I thought, which I say I am here, I feel good, I feel bad, that I is, is the I thought, comes from the intellect. That is not the real I. Are you getting it? That is not the real I. You know, the last time Terry was saying this I is contradicting the other I am. So I asked her, which I you are talking about? You have two eyes. That understanding, that awareness comes again, I say, discernment, dispassion, listening and learning, constant contemplation, reflection and practice is required. Otherwise, it will not happen. The time comes, you wake up in the morning and you know the world, first factor. Know what is inside in the process of knowing. Everything is coming from the subtle body. It is body. Nothing more than that. And I am not the subtle body. The way I'm not the physical body, I'm not the subtle body. Why we say it is subtle? Because the five physical sense organs, huh, they, it perceives the world, physical world. So everything is happening inside my mind. All the processes, sense that are information, the memory is taking place in the mind. So now here I trigger your intellect in the mind as a seeker that 
if I gain the ability to observe the I thought dispassionately, let me repeat it. If I gain the ability to observe I thought in dispassion and discernment, I separate myself from the subtle body. Even if you are moving the body, you are talking, you are a speaker, you separate here and now. And you'll be able to see your mind as other guy is talking in front of you, totally distracted, full of thoughts. You will see your mind the same way. If I get an ability, ability again, again, how to define that ability in this context, that if I live in awareness, if I live in awareness with discernment and dispassion, this I thought which claims I am drops. then you never complain, my mind is wandering. Oh, I have to control. What should I do to control my mind? We need to convert our identification with ego. Did you understand that? We need to convert our identification with the I thought that is constantly at work in the waking state, in the dream state. I can separate this I thought, that ego, and ultimately, I am not the ego, so I am not the subtle body. The way we separate ourselves from the car at work, when you're driving the car, the way I separate myself from the smartphone. So this subtle body becomes only an instrument. Why are you getting it? So when you contemplate, see that I see you, okay, it appears I see you. Why? Because I see your body. I don't see you. So there comes an awareness of the false. What appears true is not true. And you live into that state of awareness. That is the meaning of living from moment to moment. I've seen on Google, one minute mindfulness. <laughs> one minute of mindfulness. You are already identified with the physical body, subtle body. With I thought. How can you claim that in one minute? Reminding you, remember this, contemplate. What is real self? We kept it aside for the time being. What is not real self? We are working on that. <clears throat> so what is not real self? First statement comes from the master that real self is none of the three bodies. We are working on the second body. We understood the physical. I am not the physical body. I am not the subtle body, and then that we are understanding. Now we are understanding. We are internalizing that awareness. We are internalizing the mind. Oh, the mind goes inside. Okay, my sense organs, you have processed the data and the information from outside. I can appreciate that. 
Okay, let me recognize who understands that. This is the, there is an I thought in the intellect, mind and intellect. Mind and intellect two, five sense organs seven, five motor organs twelve, and five prana. Uh, five prana means you know that energy, that energy combines the sense organs, sense data you receive, and then. Uh, you process the information, come to the knowledge, and the knowledge has three factors, the knower, the known, and knowing. When I claim that I know you, Jerry, Jerry is a known. It, it, everything is happening in the subtle body. But now if the subtle body is, is crazy, then I know you in a different way. It's not your fault. In the absence of awareness of dispassion and discernment, then I blame and complain and react the outer situation. I fall into ignorance and the ignorance causes suffering. There is no two terry. The moment you find two, three, four terries, it is intellect. It is I thought. So with discernment and dispassion, I drop the identification. I said, let me drop all the eyes. One eye is husband, other eye is father, third eye is teacher, fourth eye is crazy guy, etc. I said along this. So this identification is so strong that causes the ignorance. That is why we need DD. That is why we need discernment and dispassion, my friends. Now, you already know, but still I'm reminding what is real self, we will take up in the end. We are not the three bodies, and then we will take up we are not the five sheet. So that gives you still a subtler and a deeper understanding. Oh, I'm none of these five bodies. I'm moving my hand, I'm talking, communicating, expressing. <clears throat> And then we will understand what we witness, I am not. Then what is left, I am the real self. Real self is pure consciousness. Real self is nothing but the existence, consciousness and bliss. So let us follow the practice. Now based on the subtle body, eyes are closed. Eyes are Closed, body is steady. Oh yes, body is steady, yes. Now will you, uh, your practice has 90% awareness. Uh, just for the sake of understanding, I'm saying. Not for the sake of uh, principle. So 90% awareness and 10% practice. I believe you can, you, you, you understand that. So when I say eyes are closed, very good. Body is steady, good. Mind is looking inside. So you are in the field of awareness. You instantly recognize it's a physical body. I'm not. So even if I say steady body, even if it is moving, in exceptional cases, your mind is not identifying with it. That is what I stressed upon today. See that. Look at my friends. 
and then what I said I said eyes are closed and looking inside so here is a key element you should remember all the time when I say the eyes are closed and the mind is looking inside the mind cannot see by the help of any of these five sense organs what you are doing you are breaking that trinity factor what is the trinity factor i know you so i have already separated myself from you and that separation is illusion You see, I have been repeating the same phrases so that we should have reached to this state. Now you fairly, you fairly understand how I give lessons. You see that eyes are looking inside. Ears are listening inside. I'll not talk about the illusion that we create that we will talk later we we talk a lot you know I heard a lot of noises inside so now again go back slowly uh, um, look at the shoulder joints be there be there means you are aware, you are knowing, knowing without the sense organ. So your mind, subtle body is experiencing sensation, comfort and steadiness. If I use the word, sensation, comfort and steadiness, yes. And after that, there is a space, the cause of the space is the mind and cause of the mind is I-ness, the I-thought. I have yet to explain what is the cause of eyeness <laughs> that we will take up in the causal body. You see a clarity, no blind faith. Take up the entire body, yes, physical body. Sensation, yes, comfortable, yes, steadiness, yes. So when I say that, check that your physical body is steady, it means the mind is not creating any impression or triggers any impression in the physical body. So the body will only move when the unconscious, habitual, instinctive, impulsive mind will trigger its own impression present in the body otherwise there is no way this body can move because body is physical body is inert it's matter it's protein carbohydrate fat no 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 after fat is also a organic compound carbon hydrogen oxygen and nitrogen and then uh, they have a electronic configuration ins inside i'm just talking of outside physical and that results into deepening of the sensation my friends so in that state of sensation comfort and the steadiness in the body the mind is looking inside we change one of the function of the energy five functional aspects of the prana we want this prana to pervade in every cell of the body why with awareness why so that the mind will not go back to the physical and we will remove 
some of these impressions. So what we do for that? We do it. We have been doing it. Start breathing. Quick, short breathing through both the nostrils. Mind remains focused inside the heart and dropping gently. Shanto hum. Shanto hum. Shanto hum. Shantu, mind dropping gently, Shantuham. Breath is quickened fast into the chest. So expansion and contraction of the chest continues with the steadiness in the body. So you see that? With the discernment and dispassion, you are aware of the outermost layer of the physical body. You are aware of the breath, the part of the subtle body. You are aware of the mind also. In the intellect, which is dropping shantoham. Shantoham, soft and gentle. Breath quick and fast. Body is steady. If they are not separate, if they are not three different entities, it will not happen. And if it happens in you, they are separate entities. That is what we want to achieve by the so-called the breathing practice. It's much deeper than that. Continue. Not only that, your breath rate goes up up to 60 or 80 breaths in a minute. Chest breathing. So we are combining certain part of the Tantra or Kundalini, you can say, and the other traditional aspects. It's all a part of the Eastern wisdom. Continue. One twenty breath is not a big deal <coughs> when you maintain your awareness in dropping Om Shanti. And not only it goes to 160, 180 breath a minute. This is a way to understand and recognize our progress. Otherwise, even without it, it happens. Continue.
stop it. We did it for seven minutes today. And uh, we will continue with our Nyasa. Start breathing deep, silent and slow. Cough. So as you inhale, move the mind with the breath inside the right arm in the space. Singing now, Om Shanti, reaching to the tips of the fingers, you will experience a very absorbing, tingling sensation there as you exhale. <coughs> the mind moves from the fingertips to the shoulder inside, but you are singing Om Shanti. So we have to understand through this Nyasa now that how those 17 items, 17 factors that makes the subtle body works. Energy? Yes. So possibly it is the Bhyan Prana that goes into every cell of the right arm and when it goes there the mind does not create any conflict. And when we are doing Om Shanti the mind is absorbed deeper within. It drops that very trinity. And if it drops the trinity, you live into higher awareness. We'll talk about that. I'm just giving a... That's why I'm keeping these two steps intact. Three steps. We have traveled too far. As a seeker, you understand that the movement in the physical body is caused by the subtle due to its impressions. And when we live in higher awareness, the instinctive and the impulsive mind doesn't work. It is defeated. In the presence of discernment and dispassion, I'm using all the principles for you to understand. And now inside the left arm, inside the left arm, my friends, It's the knowledge part that works. What I have seen over the years. Teacher and teacher's ego does not work. You, I mean, that I thought is not at all concerned about the physical body. And if it is not concerned about the physical body, it's not concerned about the physical world outside. <clears throat> so it is exploring the subtle body. My friends, Knowledge is the key, and it has to be realized. And 
near inside the right leg. You're doing the nyas, singing, Om Shanti, independent. See that? Body, independent. Breath, movement, it is independent. So when you separate them, The moment you separate, what do you mean? Do I need do I need a force to separate them? No, they are already separate. <laughs> that is the way to be understood when it is separate. My job has become very simple, easy. Because as a seeker, <coughs> you have moved from the physical body to the subtle. The moment you move from the physical body, you have left the world outside. Now inside the left leg. Even if there is a noise outside, temperature, other situations outside do not disturb you. Now you see. But if I have talked about these things in the very beginning, He continues without any obstruction or distraction. <clears throat> You know, in my in my profession, you know, we we, we we claim we understand physical body, subtle body cause. No, 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 it is this is. It consists of these factors. But unless that knowledge is realized by experience, it will not work. That is why you see 99% of the people in my profession, they resort to anatomy and physiology, modern anatomy and physiology. I'm just making a point to make you understand 
nothing against anything. We start giving a wrong understanding. No, 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 my body is stiff. That's why I'm not able to keep myself steady. No, it's a physical. And now, moving the mind inside the heart and the space with a triangle, moving either clockwise or anti-clockwise, both are okay. And then bringing the mind at the center of the triangle to singing home, moving the mind deeper inside. So when you move the mind deeper inside, you see that the mind as if merges. Merges means it stops. It says no, no more. Deeper inside, no more space. And there you drop Shanti and do nothing. And the moment the mind or the I thought returns, you know what needs to be done? You instantly I know you instantly return, and when you return, you see how easy it is. It is easy in the state of dispassion. Shanti, Shanti. Just casual way.
Do not even become aware of the subtle body. Understand that even when I say you become aware of the subtle body, it is the I thought again from the intellect. And that is why our masters guide us and under makes us understand that here is a physical body known by the I thought. Here is a subtle body again by known by the I thought. But we are still treating the path. We have to understand the causal body. And then we will find the answer. So what is the meaning of the awareness of the subtle body? You see any movement, any changes, any experiences, any thought? Five sense organs, five motor organs, five prana, mind and the intellect. Independent of the physical. Interconnected. check the functioning of the subtle body. Awareness of the left. It is done by the subtle. And uh, lift your both the palms, place it on your eyes, open the eyes inside. Know your experiences, bring the hands down. Good. How are you, Stephen? Uh, I'm, I'm good. Um, it was an interesting meditation. Um, the um, as soon as I closed my eyes, I, I said, "Focus on 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 being aware," <clears throat> and and then all of a sudden, uh, a vision started, and it was um, I, well, I was it was me sitting on a beach wind blowing and sheets of laundry blowing around me. And I was like, I, I am not focusing on this and just let this <laughs> o and let it go away. Yeah. And, and then, and then we went into this chest, the chest breathing, which was completely effortless. Um, That's good. And I could have just, I could have just gone on <laughs> forever on that. Um, the Nyasa was very different today because I could not, the, I, it's not that I could not, I didn't, I just went with whatever happened. And there was no separation of limbs. Um, so it, it, it began with, you know, the, it was both arms. And the, the exhale, you know, was, was coming up and wasn't stopping at my shoulders. It was going to the crown. And then I began the inhale again, and it went down all the way to my toes. And I just went with it the entire time. The only time I was able to... to to uh, when I realized that it was in one central spot was when we were to the crown to the tailbone. Um, and, and then the triangle was incredible because it immediately took me into not an actual triangle, but a triangle space. 
hmm. that was within what that was within myself. Um, and then this was over. So it was great. Thank it's you. a great yes. It's a deeper and uh, very beautifully explained. That's uh, wonderful. You know, we will find a very subtler aspect of the triangle, the movement of the breath in the Om Shanti, because the mind is uh, very much dictated by the impressions of the physical world with the physical body. So that is now we are able to drop it, we are able to dissolve it so that we will undergo the deeper experiences. How are you, Kate? Good morning, everybody. Thank you, Harish. Namaste, everybody, and sending um, well wishes to you, Anastasia. Um, I, this was very fast, and I was in a deeper place when uh, I wasn't ready to put my eyes, my hands over my eyes. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> then yeah. I heard you. That's a deep right. So then I heard you, and then I was like, oh, okay, I don't do that. <laughs> yeah, as long as... <laughs> anyway, as so long I kind of lost after the, uh, my, my, I, 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 I imagine I followed you through the limbs, um, but I don't know, I was in a deeper place, so. Beautiful. That's a beautiful, that's a, that's the way. How are you, David and Jerry? Terry is still not moving, you see that? That's wonderful. Yeah, it's very good. It was it was um, dispassionate. Um, and I wouldn't say it went deep because I got to a, a space when kind of like Stephen with the triangle in the heart and I got to a space where it just kind of like opened up and there was no boundaries and there was no attachments. And it was like that until the end when he asked us to focus on our hands and my hands were asleep. Ah, that's a deeper, that's almost going deeper. You see, the greater the awareness of the subtle body from moment to moment, you don't care anything in the world outside in a sense that you are not worried, you are not concerned, that the physical world uh, dissolves. But you are able to maintain your awareness, you take care, it's a transactional reality. Beautiful. How are you, Jerry? Sure, I'm good. Um, I guess the meditation was kind of like uh, the sum of all the parts. Um, led us, led me to the to knowing the true self. So, like with the breath, it was really effortless as well, and been very distinctly. The breath was different than the mantra part, and they all. They all functioned independently. Beautiful. So. You see, that's a you know that's a different ways of expression. So when I experience, they are working differently, because they together. They together. In ignorance causes the attachment. And when they are separate, you are free. Even if you have a pain in the shoulder and you have a smile on the face. Independent. <laughs> Example. <laughs> Example. So, yes, beautiful. How are you, Brandy? Then we'll go to Sam, yes. I'm good, thank you. Um, my practice was mostly deep and quiet and um, peaceful, but I did notice that my mind a couple of times tried to use my body to help me. Like when we were doing the rapid breathing, I got tense and my body was really tense and I just had to be like, I don't need your help. And then my body was able, uh, to, my mind was able to relax my body and then I could go deeper into my Beautiful. Practice. And uh, no worries, Brandy, the time will come that the mind will not go to the physical body at all. It doesn't always do that. I mean, it just but today it happened. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's wonderful. That's a beautiful. How are you, Terry? I, I, um, I felt a few, a little, a moment. Uh, I touched on the peace, 
for a little one, a little one. And that was good. I I pray for the chance to overcome the negative feelings that, that are overcoming me so so often. And I I I hope I can over, uh, reverse that. Yeah. That you are doing it. I did it a little bit. Thank. You. I'm very great, grateful. You are grateful to yourself. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> I don't know how to, to. I'm just grateful to experience it. Yeah. 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 I I I don't want to. The the breathing was was effort, uh, and I feel like, uh, a lot of doubt about my ability to su succeed. Yeah. But I don't want I don't want to focus on that. I understood that I have to replace the negative impressions with the experience of a shoot. Yeah, yeah. It is a prana. That is one way to... It's your phone? Very good. Yes. No worries. That's really wonderful. How are you, Sam? You say Sam? Yeah, <laughs> I say. Oh, Sam. okay. Um, definitely becoming more aware of the the separate layers uh, throughout. Um, you know, starting with the with the pranayama, with the um, breathing, feeling depth very separate from the body being stable, being very separate from the Om Shanti, and then similar with the Nyasa and the, the breath and the separateness of the hammering of it. And then it all kind of merges at the triangle. Um, and it was, it was very peaceful. Very peaceful, yeah. One thing is very clear, the moment you are aware of separation. That's why our master says the physical body consists of these factors. Is a subtle body consists of 17 factors. So if I'm able, if I'm aware of those 17 factors, there is no reason why the mind should have any negatives or act reaction or blame or complaint that we are going to understand in the following sessions. So, how are you, Samir? Sorry, uh, when I was doing meditation, my body became very, I, it was look, it was my feeling, I don't know. It became very heavy and very stiff. I thought I have become like a stone, uh, like a statue of Buddha, like yeah, yeah. nothing moving, all stiffness, all the joints attacked with things. I can't explain that thing actually what happened, but it became totally stiff. Yes, the body yes. was very heavy and very stiff very during stiff. the meditation. If I thought I could move, I was not able to move even. I can see, I can see that. Now compare this, you look at the wall and you see it is so stiff, tight, immobile. And now you compare it with the body. So that also gives you a clue of total separation. It's a beautiful. So how are you, wave up? So it was very peaceful, very quiet, calm. Very. It was really good. Good, beautiful. How are you, Anastasia? We don't hear you. 
uh, they are in Pultava. All my students are basically in, they are all in Pultava. She left. Yes. Yeah. I can Sorry. hear. Yeah, it's okay. Sorry, my something wrong. Uh, I'm thank you for the practice. It was very uh, peaceful and deep, and my energy came back to me. I'm so uh, thankful for this. I hadn't uh, slept. Uh, I ha haven't slept uh, for two nights, and I'm a little bit tired. But practices helped me very nice. It. It's very refreshing. Very and good. I, yeah, and I feel this settled body. It's very interesting feeling. I see. I mean, how prana is moving inside, and this separation between um, matter and settled body. Yeah, that's good. That's that's uh, that's the way we should understand. So anesthesia, you can invite uh, everyone, there is no need to pay anything to this Mondays and Thursdays session, who understands English. So you can... Okay, thank you. And you can invite them. We all are with you. you know, thanks, Kate, reminds every time, you know, that's good. So that is all for today. Thank you. We'll meet again. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Namaste. 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 Namaste.